Hello and welcome, my name is Will, also known as the American GI, and today we're at War and Peace. This is regarded as the largest military vehicle festival in the world, and it certainly lives up to that expectation. I'm going to take you on a brief tour of the time I've spent here with some videos and photos. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Some really nice examples of Canadian vehicles here this year. This particular one is a Lynx armoured car, followed by, I'm not really sure what this one is, but this is also Canadian armour. And then we have another CM, a CMP, Canadian military pattern truck, followed by a CMP C60 breakdown truck. And then I believe this is what's referred to as an Otter, Canadian built armoured car. And then, as always, at War and Peace, there is an abundance of military jeeps and land got... Just found an awesome example of an M3A1 Scout car, marked up in French markings. This is the predecessor to the half-track, so as you can see this only has one rear wheel. We have some awesome vehicles up. Just past the living history area, we have a beautiful M24 Chaffee tank, and then a British marked up M5 Stewart tank, and then this beast of an M26 Pacific. This was one of the biggest vehicles of the Second World War to come out of the US Arsenal, and definitely one of the coolest. Close to these vehicles we have a really nice example of an M29 Weasel, and then a GMC, a Diamond T cargo truck, a Jeep, as you can see there, a Harley Davidson WLA, and then two different types of GMC. As we walk up this section, we can see that there's almost an abundance of different types of Jeeps. This one coming up here is a slack grill, so it's quite an early rare one and then tucked in there we have a, a fairly rare I think it's a, a push move, something like that and then we have a 54 a GMC a diamond T ballast tractor a Chevrolet of some description and then over here we have an M16 based M3 As you can see, this one has the fold down sides at the back. And this one needs a bit of a tartar. But, if you look on the other side, we have some more American trucks. And then, three French fish and citrus. Here we have some really cool British bits. So we have an Austin K5, followed by a Bedford MW, and another Jeep. And then a really, really nice Austin K2. It's actually quite rare now because their their backs are made of canvas. And then another Jeep and a WC54. This is another living history group. These guys do the military police. And here we have. And here we have. A M14 quad mount half track with only a single 50 cal on the side, and then we have another minute, another military police jeep.
So, can you join me at the Red Bull reenactment group? These guys have some of the most incredible pieces of equipment at the whole show. Pictured here is GMC Leroy compressor truck. And then over here, we have a Diamond T 969A and a Warden France Wrecker. In front of me, we have the awesome Buick M18 Hellcat. And then we have a Red Cross Clubmobile, a DKW which they're currently working on. Over here, we have two examples of M3A1 half tracks. A Dodge WC54. In the background with the crane, that's a Brockway T666 Quickway. A Plymouth staff car in front of us here. And then we have uh, a Chevrolet. I'm not quite sure of the designation of this particular one. We have another half track here, this one just being an M3, sorry an M2, no rear door. <laughs> then we have multiple GMCs, and a Jeep in front of us here. So that was the Red Bull reenactment group, awesome group, if you ever get to come to one of the shows, I highly recommend it, awesome stuff here, so yeah, it's really... Hope you guys enjoyed this little segment.